Hi, it's John. Now, philosophically speaking, um, the era sort of from the 1960s, 70s could be described as modern era, um, modernism. And the thing was that there was a thought around that things were getting better and they would continue to get better. And that was sort of modernism. Um, what was it that killed modernism off? It was probably things like Vietnam and the it was there student protests at Ohio and where the troops or the police had to attack students and some students were killed. Uh, 1968, these were sort of things which killed off the modern era. The end of the Apollo project. You know, I'll keep on about these American things, but it was America, wasn't it? Because, I mean, Russia was uh, sort of rather dark and um, it was competing with Apollo, um, but uh, socially it wasn't really very advanced whatsoever. China was very primitive, um, so America was the, uh, the main driving force. I think once people had been to the moon uh, after that while, um, people lost interest and it sort of the Apollo mission sort of lost its, lost its uh, impetus and was cancelled. And also there was probably the realisation of the extreme size of the universe and how small we are and how far away from uh, the planets we are. Um, and it suddenly became realised that we weren't going to be living like Star Trek. And in quite a few of the years following, there were rebellions um, against society and police and troops had to be used against um, the working classes and people. I mean, for instance, the miners' strike in in the UK, um, where troops weren't used, I don't think, but, but mounted police certainly were. And politically and philosophically, there was uh, very much the thought that um, there weren't easy answers. Um, one, thing, one, thing, one of the things about modernism was the idea that the standard of living would continually improve. After modernism came postmodernism. And postmodernism is the, all the idea that there could be, there's not one answer to the way that um, things should go. Um, there's a lot of answers. and. You know, these are lived out in, in politics and fashion and uh, it was especially true in fashion and, and pop music and music. You know, suddenly you had a, a proliferation of different styles and it was okay, you know, it's okay to have lots of different types of music and world music and rock and roll wasn't the only um, thing thing in the book. But one of the depressing things about postmodernism is that it, 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 it's, it has a sort of directionless feel about it. Nobody really knows where they're going. Anything goes. Um, any, any religion, you know, you, perhaps the New Age movement um, uh, characterises postmodernism all sorts of different traditions all bundled up into one. But I get the feeling now in 2014 in sunny Dorset that there's a new sort of positivism around. Um, a new positive feeling and that uh, there may be a new modernism sort of being born. Um, you know, very naive of me, but I sort of 
feel that it may be driven by technology. Technology now is, is, seems to me to be so amazing that uh, you know, it, 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 um, it mimics, mimics the human brain. Um, you know, they're talking about more and more work being done by computers and more and more um, power to, to computers and talking about missions to Mars. And uh, it, it almost feels like anything is possible again. I think that's all I've got to say. Right, bye for now.